Hi, I'm going to show you how to calculate the integral of x5 times e with the power of minus x3 dx, okay? You can rewrite this integral as x3 times x2 times e with the power of minus x3 dx, okay? So this integral, you can solve it using the combination of uh, the substitution rule and integration by part, okay? So if you define x3 as u, and if you take the derivative from each side of this equation, you'll get 3x2 dx will be equal to du, okay? So now if you substitute these two uh, um, expression into this integral, you can rewrite this one as integral of, instead of here x3, I write u, right? Instead of x2 dx, x2 dx, I write one divided by three times du, okay? Because three x2 dx is du, therefore x2 dx is one divided by three times uh, du, okay? And instead of e with the power of minus x3, I write e with the power of minus u because, because x3 is equal to u, okay? So now this integral, I can solve it using the integration by part, okay? That is integral of v dw is equal to v w minus integral of w dv. Okay, so here what we wanted to do, we wanted to calculate basically the integral of uh, u e minus uh, u times e with the power of minus u du. Okay, so here if we define e with the power of minus u du as dw, therefore you can conclude that w is equal to integral of e with the power of minus u du. Okay, which will be equal to minus e with the power of minus u. Okay, and also you can define u as v, okay, therefore du will be equal to dv, okay? So now you can use this uh, formula basically to calculate this integral, okay, which will be equal to, which will be equal to one set, which was the constant times, uh, times uh, vw and v, we uh, calculate, v, v, v was defined as u and w we calculated as minus uh, e with the power of minus u. Therefore, vw will be equal to minus u times e with the power of minus u minus integral of w dv. And w was minus e with the power of, uh, e with the power of uh, minus u. So this minus, uh, by this minus will be plus, okay, e with the power of minus u uh, times dv, and dv uh, is equal to du, okay, because you see here in the previous slide, dv is equal to du, okay, times du, okay, so this one will be equal to uh, minus uh, times one set, that is minus one set, uh, u times e uh, with the power of minus u minus uh, one third times e with the power of minus u because integral of e with the power of with the power of minus u du is equal to minus e with the power of minus u okay and that minus by this one third this will be equal to minus one third okay times e with the power of minus u plus c, which is the constant of the integral, okay? So here, all you need to do is to substitute this parameter u with the definition of u, which was given in the previous slide. u was defined as x3, okay? Therefore, uh, here, this one will be equal to minus one third times u, in instead of u, I write x3, e with the power of minus x3 minus one third e with the power of minus x3 plus c. Or you can write it as well as minus one third uh, e with the power of minus x3 times here you have a x3 plus basically one plus c, which is the constant of the integral. And this is the solution to our um, integral. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you.